Welcome everyone to another edition of Twitch 65. And today we've got another 3D printed part. First things first, we've got the two trusses here and we've got the top plate. Those got to go together. The author of the, of the uh, Thingiverse file talked about a two millimeter tube, brass, metal, um, plastic. Uh, I live in the United States. Buying a two millimeter tube is near impossible. Uh, so what I did was I took a cocktail stick or toothpick, took some 400 grit sandpaper, wrapped it around it and filed everything. Number one, I got it smooth. Number two, I got it down to where it fits the cocktail stick. It'll stand up, fits in. Um, I will insert it this way, just a nice point to stick it into the foam and the layout. So for now, that's just gonna sit over there. And I'm gonna start on this bit. Uh, best thing for gluing those together is some CA and I'm going to use liquid CA. But you also see I've got some uh, filler in here because it, it and it just didn't uh, print well so I cut that section out this little section here and filled it back in with some um, modeling paste. So we're just going to run the top of this through the cement but then just going to line this up on the edge and, and uh, where are we, where are we? hopefully you can see at that 90 degree no more CA you will go through some CA but you know dollar store again sorry for the fat fingers this is hard to uh, show these have a flat side and a curved side. I'm doing the flat side to the inside. I'm just going to set this aside. And there's a little bit of prep work we need to do here. We need to, number one, determine the height. And then we have these little ladder rungs. Do the uh, railings. So it's kind of the same thing, but in reverse, in these um, squeeze to release tweezers really work well. Sets of railings, one with a gap and one without a gap. And we have a rounded side, I want to put the rounded side to the outside. It just goes along the bottom. All right, folks, we're back. Uh, what I did is I, I trimmed the toothpick down right, so that when it fits in place, which is right there, it will be attached to the ladder to the outside. But I also have an end scale box car here. And so now you can see there'll be plenty of space um, between the box car and now I still have room to push the um, toothpick further down inside the scenic if I need to. For this, I'm going to use a gel control. It's going to be up inside. You're not going to really see it. It takes a little longer to set, but it also gives you some margin of error. And I think it makes a stronger bond overall. So we're just going to slide that in place here. And there we go. Next is laying our ladder. And so it's going to attach right there and then run down the outside. So what I'm going to do is orientate these little flanges that stick out. Little dab there, there, there. Get this collar glued in place as well. There we go. 
And we do have an electrical junction box that we can place. What I'm gonna do is just place it some super glue. Now, from the same author, he also makes some signal boxes. They didn't print as well as I had hoped, and I have no intention of putting small lights in there. They're just gonna be for looks. So I grabbed the best two that I had. Super simple paint job here, guys. I hit it with a black primer, came back and hit the whole thing again with some Vallejo uh, dark brown German camo. Touched up the signal lights in pure black, added some red dots to the light. And the final touches were to hit the control box with some silver and the pad at the bottom I hit with just some concrete color. All that's left to do is to stick the cocktail stick into the foam layer of the layout and call it a day. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.